what you said. Hey everyone, Indiana Digger here, and I've got a moth attacking me. Never mind that. Uh, I got a few things to show you today, tonight. It's like 11:15 or something tonight, Indiana time, Eastern. Uh, we've got some mail from uh, Metal Detecting CT. We've got some relics that I surface found. And I got a cool penny that I found. And uh, just to give you a real quick uh, background thing is uh, I work at a company here that's nationwide called Batteries Plus. And since I have access to the cash drawers, because I'm cashing customers in and out all day long, I get to see coins. And so I just leave it at that. I get to see coins, whether it be quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. $2 bills, old 10s, old 1s, old 5s, you know, whatever. I get to see money. And I get to take money and exchange it for my own better. So, I'm going to get to it and show you what we got going on right now. And, hope you like it. So, let's dig this. We've got some mail to open here. And I'm super excited about opening this mail. Because this guy, Metal Detecting CT, is giving me, supposedly, some coins to help, to help me out with my coin collecting. They don't want to come out. There we go. And um, these are coins that I obviously don't have that I am super stoked about. All right, here we go. Let's get these all turned up nice and neat real quick. All right. Kind of get these in order real quick while you watch me do that. All right, here we go. What we have is six old nickels. I've got a 5V nickels and a buffalo nickel. We got the buff. Metal detecting CT. You're awesome, dude. Super stoked about this. All right, here we go. Once again, excuse the camera and it's adjusting. I have a 1905 V nickel. Way super cool. I am so digging this coin. Oh, I've got a V nickel inside the house. 18 something, 1898, 1888. But I absolutely can barely read mine. This is awesome. That's oh, that's awesome. We've got a 1906 v -Nicole. See, man, these dates you can read. I can't read mine. And the V on mine, oh, it's not even legible. So this is just absolutely astounding to me right now. I'm just crazy. I'm crazy right now. I'm going crazy. 1908 V nickel. Awesome. Mr. Metal Detecting CT. Awesome. 1910. It's trying to fall out the package. It's not going nowhere. These are going to go into my coin books. Definitely going into my coin books. Now, you know what? I might even do a video about me putting them in there just because that's how super stoked I am right now. 1912 V Nickel. Unbelievable how I can read these compared to my one single piece of crap I got. And then my first ever, my first ever 1929 
Buffalo Nickel. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Ah. I am... God, that thing's gorgeous. Look at that thing. I am... I'm... Man. Dude. Thumbs up. Six, six, six. Awesome. Oops, six, six, six. Just six coins. Six awesome coins. That's, uh... I couldn't wait to get home from work. I had to hurry up and get in class and do some live chats in my schooling. And then I had to I had to hurry up and get out here and video this. I couldn't wait to do it, man. This is this is beyond what I was could even imagine. These coins are cool. Super cool. So yeah, big thumbs up, metal detecting C T. Good job, brother. And I will be sending some back your way. You better believe that. I've got, uh, you gave me a list of some surprises that you need, and I'm going to be sending you coins, and you're going to be getting bonus coins, because that's what I do. That's what I do. So, all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the five V-Nickels and the Buffy, and be look, I'll let you know when I send mine out to you. So, all right. I'm going to move on. A few weeks ago, I uh, did some cleaning in my uh, uncle's backyard out by his, uh, by the cornfields that are by his house, and I always, once a year, I knock his weeds down for him, and now he's going to start mowing it, and we're moving a bunch of rocks, and uh, I was planning on metal detecting that whole area because it's really old, and we ended up working too long, and I was, right before I was getting ready to leave, Happened to just look on the ground, and I seen this old bottle sitting there. And it's not old, old, you know, but it's uh, old enough. And I don't know if you can actually read it on the bottom there. It's got the number 40 on this side, and it's got a, I don't know what they're called. It's a six-sided shape with an F, a capital F in the middle on this side. It looks like a medicine bottle to me. It's not too old. It's got the screw top. It's not a cork top. But I'm still thinking maybe 50s, 60s, maybe 70s. I have never seen nothing like this. So, I mean, that's just absolutely cool to me. So, that's another part of my metal detecting that I really want to get into is uh, relic hunting. I'm watching Nugget Noggin and, and all these other guys over in, like, uh, England and Great Britain and all this stuff that in Scotland, man, you guys rock with all the stuff that you find relic hunting. And even uh, a guy I got hooked up on YouTube now, Bo, he uh, he finds all these stuffs in the creek. So all these bullets and all this stuff, you guys rock for this relic hunting stuff. So I'm gonna try to get into that a lot more. Hopefully, time's just on my side with that. And then today, while I was at work. We'll slide on over here. I looked down in my uh, cash drawer, and I noticed a really dark penny, and it was actually upside down. I was like, oh, I have a weedy in the drawer. Well, cool. I got a weedy. I never usually think nothing of it. So I look at it, and it don't look too bad, you know. You can definitely see the weed on there. It's kind of worn. And then I flip it over, I start reading it, and it says, 1909. So I flip that baby right back over real quick and take a look, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a regular 1909. No mint mark, but I got me a 1909 Weedy out of my cash drawer at work. Oh, yeah. Another thumbs up for the cash drawer at Batteries Plus. So yeah, that's uh that's something that I have actually been getting a lot of coins from, where it comes from the uh, the state quarter part, the what is it, the national park state quarters, or if it's the uh, what else? I try to get silver out of the drawer. I'm always getting copper pennies, so that's a big bonus. I'm just keep putting them in my vase, and. Uh, 
I've found that probably since I've been there a year now, coming up on a year here in August, I think I found three or four Wheaties there. Nothing really exciting. Uh, I've gotten all the U.S. territories from there. Probably about 60% of my U.S. territories have came from there. So it's a bonus working in the retail shop, but that's also why I'm in school is to quit doing that crap. So, but it's a bonus working in the retail shop because you get access to all the coins, all the money. I picked up two two dollar bills there, which you guys probably seen on another video of mine. I had three two two dollar bills listed out. But uh, yep, here we go. 1909 Weedy. Ding! Got it! So we'll end up putting that in the book too, and I'll probably shoot a video of doing that at the same time along with my V Nichols and my Buffy. So I will let you know when that happens. That'll be, uh, actually, I might do that tomorrow morning. So cool. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to me. Like, comment, do all the good stuff. And, uh,. I'll be watching your video soon here because I've got to do some catch-up. I'm a few days behind. But uh, I'll be talking to you guys real soon. So have a great night and get some sleep. We'll see everybody soon when the books are being out with the coins going in. Later, y'all.